Today, I'm going to show you how to use Elementor to transform your website from plain to eye-catching with a cool reveal on scroll effect. As I scroll, you can see how the colors change and new content smoothly fades in. It's super easy to do and all you have to do is follow along. A big thanks to Nikolai for the video idea and the code used in this tutorial. Full credit for this amazing effect goes to him, so make sure to check out his channel. Okay, let's start by clicking the plus icon to add a container to our page. Choose this layout and then change the content width to full width from the left side. After that, head over to the advanced tab and remove the padding. We do this to keep things clean and ensure the layout fits nicely. Next, add a new container and set the width to 1200 pixels. This size keeps the content looking structured on larger screens. Change the direction to row so everything sits side by side. Then go to style and give it a background color to make it pop. Finally, in advanced, go down and add the CSS class gallery to keep things organized for later. Inside this main container, add another container and set its width to 50%. This will hold the left side text and button. In advanced, give it the CSS class left to label it for the left side. This makes it easy to control the layout later. Add one more container inside it and assign it the CSS class desktop content. This is where the main content will go. Let's make sure everything looks centered and aligned. Inside the desktop content container, add another one and set the minimum height to 100VH as it spans the whole page and make sure the content scrolls properly. Then center the content by setting justify content to center. Now go to the advanced tab, scroll to the CSS class area and give it the CSS class desktop content section. This helps us manage the layout smoothly. Now let's add the elements here and I'll quickly edit them. Once done, it should look like this. Now let's make the right side image area that changes while scrolling. So instead of building from scratch, just duplicate the left side container, rename it right and remove the old CSS classes so the right side doesn't need it. Switch it to a box layout. This ensures both sides balance out equally. Now let's add the scroll effect. In motion effects, set the sticky options to the top, enable the stain column feature, and do this for the other containers as well. Also, make sure to remove the older CSS classes you've added, as this can mess up our design later on. Finally, let's add the images. To do that, let's add another container, set the minimum height to 600, pixels and drop in an image. Choose something that fits your design. I'll go with a custom image size so it looks sharp and then go to style. Here give it a little border radius and some box shadow. This adds a nice finishing touch to it. In advanced give the container the CSS class desktop dash photo. Now set the image containers position to absolute and change its vertical orientation from pixels to percentage. Remove the offset value for a cleaner look and set the CSS class desktop dash photo. Now all we need to do is add the code. So let's do that quickly. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll drag an HTML widget from here and drop it here. Now go to the description, copy the code, come back and paste it here. Once done, it should look like this. To make it work on more sections, just duplicate the left and right containers 
a couple of times and change the images and text as needed. All right, everything is done. So let's publish and preview the page. Okay, here's my website. Now let's scroll down to see everything in action. And yeah, it's working just fine. If you want to change colors or styles, you can quickly adjust them from this code. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.